welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're doing the hand drill utilizing the floating hand technique. So stick around. The first thing you want to do is identify your materials. What we're using today is yucca stock along with a piece of seep willow or mule fat. The next step is simply prepare your fireboard. Once your board is relatively smooth, it's now time to carve your initial notch. What you want to do is take your seep willow and place it approximately a quarter inch from the outside edge. Then simply using your knife or cutting tool, make a small depression. Now simply placing your spindle into your initial indentation, you are now ready to seat the drill. Once you've seated your drill, you're now ready to carve your notch. The notch can be a pie notch or it can be a square notch. For this application, we'll carve a square notch. If you notice on here, I have a layout approximately a quarter inch wide and I want this notch to extend approximately one third to halfway inside of the initial seated area. The last thing you're going to want to do is open up the back side to allow airflow. Using a leaf as an ember catch, I'll place it under my board directly beneath my notch. I'll place my foot on the board for stability, ensuring that the board does not rock back and forth. I will now place my spindle into my seated area and utilize the floating hand technique 
and attempt to produce an ember. Now if you're not familiar with the floating hand, the floating hand is simply a series of movements like what you're seeing, where your hand pushes away, down and away. And I'll demonstrate that for you right now. What you want to do is put your hands together in a modified praying position and simply push one down and away from you, like so, followed by the other one, down and away. Now this is exaggerated, and when you actually do it, it won't be like this, but it will resemble this motion. What this does is it allows the spindle to run from fingertip to palm, reducing the hot spots on your hand, thus reducing blisters. What you want to do is you want to start off slow with very little downward pressure. What you're doing is you're establishing a rhythm as well as warming up your board. Once you have a good rhythm going, you'll notice dust or powder is beginning to form inside the notch. And you can speed it up or slow it down. And you might even see smoke. Once you have a lot of smoke, just go for it. One more time. I'll rotate the board away and tap it free from the board. And there's your ember using the floating hand technique. Welcome back. That was pretty good to go. Now the main purpose of the floating hand technique is simply to reduce hot spots and blistering. Remember the motion. Rotating the spindle and pushing your hands down and away allows the spindle to move freely from fingertip to palm versus the traditional way where people spread their fingers far apart like this and go back and forth only moving the spindle an inch and a half this creates severe hot spots and blistering people do this for one of two reasons one that's how they were taught and they've been doing it that way for 20 years or two it shows their novice skill level so i challenge either one to go ahead and try the floating hand technique reducing the hot spots and blistering and gives you more rotations in the spindle, getting the job done faster. So hope you all learned something today. With that, catch you all next time.